Hey neighbors, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Neighbors. It is I, Jerry Ellen, and no surprise, you read the title and you saw the thumbnail. Wendy's caught the cat chili. Oh, look at this. Look at that. I'm ready for it. Bring it on. Doing this in collaboration with two wonderful ladies, Linda at Create with Linda and Mel at Cooking with Cousin Mel. These these two ladies are like my, they're my bestest friends. They're like, you know, family. So visit them after this video. Links in the description along with recipe, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. You know what? I'm getting some prep work done. Then we're going to take a trip to Wendy's because I want to pick up some chili. Yes, indeed, doodly. Reason? Because I want to do a side-by-side -side taste test because there's like a gazillion uh, recipes out there for copycat. A lot of them say that there's uh, celery in it. So I am, I, you know, when I eat chili at Wendy's, I don't recall seeing celery. So I am making it really thin, really thin slices so that uh, it will disappear into the sauce and just add flavor. And my peppers, I have two large green bell peppers. I like to cut the top off like that so I can actually dice that up as well. And then clean up the inside. And they look uh, not very big in the, the chili either, so what am I doing? I messed that up, didn't I? Yes, Jerry Ellen. get my three large tomatoes. So let's do this. And if parts of the core isn't too hard, I would chop that up and mix that in there too. Otherwise, I just put it in my compost. I got about uh, two pounds of uh, ground beef. Apparently Wendy's uses their hamburger like their burgers and they break it up so I'm not gonna turn this into all fine pieces I'll leave some chunks in it and then let that brown so I'm letting that brown up you can see the brown bits getting on the bottom which is what we want we've got a little mix and mix brown it up some more hey neighbors I'm going to add my celery and onion I'm also going to add three tablespoons of uh, chili powder two teaspoons of ground cumin, and a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne, about a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, and some sea salt, maybe about a half a teaspoon. Keep going with the Jerry. This is a couple of tablespoons of uh, tomato paste out of my freezer. So I put a few tablespoons in these little things and freeze them to have them. Okay. If you didn't, if it's not frozen for you, just uh, saute it for a minute and get the rawness out. Add a couple of teaspoons of minced garlic. One, two. Use garlic powder or fresh uh, chopped garlic or whatever. Just a couple of teaspoons. Add my two large bell pepper. I'm on a medium heat right now. My three large tomatoes. Ten of uh, diced tomato, uh, 796 mils, so like 28, 29 ounces. This, all the I like read like I don't know 100 recipes. I don't know. I can't even count. And 90 percent or more of them said to leave the liquid in with the beans. So that's what I'm going to do. This is uh, 990. Uh, sorry, 796 mils, so 28, 29 ounces of uh, the red kidney beans. This, or pot beans, whatever. Use the bigger pot. Uh, you need the same amount in uh, the pinto beans, whole pinto beans, leaving the juices in again. So I needed to pick up two cans of this so that I can pretty much get the same amount. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get another different pot. Holy heavens. Heavens to Betsy. I'm almost done putting stuff in, I promise. Oh yeah, this might have to go in a different pot. Just like a, only like a six quart anyway. 
Okay, I transferred it. And I'm gonna open up the other can. I'm gonna put this all in because instead I used half of it. Oh my gosh, it was in the garage and it's kind of half frozen. Heavens. Oh well, what are gonna do? Get it out of there. It's out of there. <laughs> okay, so I also, and some recipes say to add water or tomato juice or whatever, like a couple of cups. I'm gonna add two cups of beef broth and I have some bits that was left on my other pot that I'm gonna just deglaze that and pour it into here. My two cups of beef broth in. And give it a stir. Stir it up. I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna simmer this. I'm gonna bring it to a nice simmer and I'm gonna turn it down to a fairly low heat. I'll, and I'm gonna put the cover on. Stir it every 15 minutes or whatever. Make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom. And yeah, set so the beef broth. A nice uh, beef broth mixed with that tomato paste will give this a nice rich flavor and hopefully this is going to taste like the Wendy's chili. I opened the lid a little wider, let more of that steam out and you know, that kind of thing. We're going to get our Wendy's chili. Hey neighbors, we're back from Wendy's, and this is the Wendy's chili. I'm going to show you a bit of what that looks like. Okay, you got some bigger bits in there, and you got the two types of beans. You got some, it looks like some diced up tomato. I think my dices are a bit larger. The diced up onion in there. Uh, so you spread. I'm going to have to put mine in a container now. I just want to actually let this go a little longer. You want to taste it, hon? I want to taste it. Alrighty. So my my uh, little chunks are bigger. I did see I did see a little bit of green pepper. My tomatoes could be diced a little smaller. I'm not gonna tell you. What one's which? Or which one's which? Which one's better? Which one's Wendy's? Yeah, you can tell me which one's Wendy's and better. You can tell me whatever you want, babe. Okay. Very good. That could definitely be one this chili. I honestly, either one of them could be one this chili. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, hon? I think they're both really good. Yeah? They're yeah. both a chili that are similar? They're similar. Okay. Similar in taste for sure. Do you like any one eat what any one of these better? No. Okay, because this one is mine that has like the larger you see the larger pieces in yeah, this one. And then the other one. This Wendy's. And it's my hobby, so I'm gonna try them now side by side. Let's see. Hmm. Wow, it does taste like Wendy's chili. It really does. I prefer actually the bigger chunks that I have, and they're not humongous. But uh, wow! Oh my gosh! You want guys want a copycat? This is a copycat. I, I do like that the beef broth was in it, and the uh, tomato paste, and I think it's the right amount of chili spices and stuff too. I'm very pleased with it. That's from a lot of research though. Was a little bit of this recipe, a little bit of that recipe. Came up with this recipe, and I think it works. Have a good one, everyone. Don't forget to visit uh, Melanie at Cooking with Cousin Mel and Linda at Create with Linda. Lovely ladies. Lots of great stuff. Peace, love, God bless. Hope you come back again. Take care, everyone. everyone.